J Drone here. What's going on, guys? Full function radio control off road vehicle. This thing looks pretty sweet. All too often, though, we find that it's actually not full function and you pull the trigger and it's it's not variable speeds. This one, as you can see, I'm pulling it back. It seems like it's going to be variable speeds. We will test it. Normally, if you just get click, click, there's a click in between it, you're not having variable speeds. I haven't tested this at all. Um, but uh, that's what we're going to do here. The battery that comes with it is a an ICD, 500 milliamp an hour, 6 volts. So it probably charges out to around 7 volts when it's fully charged. But without any further ado, let's get this on. We are going to test to make sure this is variable speeds like I think thought it was. So we're going to pay attention to the back tire. We're slowly going to press. Now I'm going to squeeze it full throttle. So it definitely is. So you definitely can feather this and you can definitely squeeze it and go full throttle with it. First thing we're gonna do is gonna do a straight punch. So this thing is a little bit better than what we've seen from the super plastics because this is a super plastic. But um, again, we can slowly crawl with it. Or we can just punch it. What we do here is just lightly crawl over some of this stuff. See if it'll do it. Did say off-road vehicle. And it is able to do it. Oh, we're stuck. We are stuck. How are we stuck? Why are we stuck? And that's not touching we're high centered so that's why we're stuck so we will uh restart this and try again. again i'm just crawling showing you that this thing can crawl man no problems then if we fly over it we can actually fly over it and again i'm steering with one hand here And here we're going to show you a little bit of a uh, little bit of slow mo action after the speed through. What we're going over here is a lot of leaves. If you can judge the leaves to the RC car, it's a considerable amount, and it, you will especially be able to see uh, how much is sitting there. And there's also like dirt and mud um, underneath that that this thing's going through, and I find it pretty impressive that it was actually able to do it. And as you can see, that it's getting a little bit of air as it's hitting it which is telling you that it's coming down with some force now right here we're trying to get out of it um exactly what this is this is a downgrade that goes to a great a drainage crate so it allows water to go down and this stuff has just collected here um as you can see we're having a little bit of a hard time getting through this but eventually we will get through this and that says quite a bit for this i've not changed out the battery the battery that i showed you in the beginning is the battery that we are using if we threw a lipo in this would this thing be a beast i think so i mean it, it's it, it's close it's close to being called a beast it really is um because what i'm showing you here in slow motion through this stuff is a feat it really is a feat and again the fact that it's catching a little bit of an air for the stock battery says something for this again i i absolutely love it um i had a lot of fun playing with this you guys know if i'm not having fun playing with an rc car what do i do i throw a lipo battery in it immediately I didn't do that with this. I kept the stock battery in this, this the entire time because it was capable. And as you can see, just flying around there, it had enough speed going up around there that it actually flipped. And again, that's an incline. This isn't flat. That's an incline, what we're climbing up right now. And it's able to do it. Um, this this is not a Traxxas killer. This is not your dope WL Toys cars uh, killer. This is a entry level beginner's drone that you could get on Amazon. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. it I mean, the video speaks for itself. Um, that's why I do a lot of slow motion with these RC cars because sometimes they're moving so quick. And look at that. We hit a bump and the thing goes flying. Um, 
a lot of the time you can't see when this thing's moving at full speed what exactly is it do is it doing um so that's why i've begun and again we're on two wheels dude we're on two wheels it's going to recover it drops now we're in the leaves we're in leaves almost as deep as the wheels and you can see we're twisting them up we're twisting them up you can see stuff flying we're gonna get out of it um so again i i really like this uh, the, the footage i love the footage of it um i enjoyed playing with it the battery time it could have came with a higher milliamp an hour battery but i did spend a lot of time in these leaves we're gonna go to loose dirt here in a second um i spent a lot of time in these leaves we end up trying to crawl up something at the end and the battery was just about nixed but i'm happy i spent the time in the leaves i'm happy that i got the footage i did and again the next set of footage you'll see will be gravel Show you how it operates uh, on gravel and loose dirt and whatnot. So uh, enjoy that. All right, guys. Thus far, I'm pretty happy with this. It's not just your uh, super junk plastic toy. Again, it does have variable speed. It has a little bit of speed to it. Enough speed that uh, it can drift and it can burn out. Which we might actually be losing. Oh, nope, there we go might be losing our speed or the tires are that good but it just doesn't want to do a straight run on burnout but going through uh what i just showed you in the leaves that was pretty impressive put on a little air there Here's a little bit of a jump, a little bit of an air. It didn't get lots of air. Well, we'll do it again. But it's the back end did that time. This is pretty, I mean, it's just a slight bump, man. This stuff is a slight bump of tar that was left over for when they tarred the parking spots in this lot. And it's able to get up on it. Now here we're just showing you a little bit of the attributes in uh, loose dirt. You can see the dirt flying. It has enough power to uh, do mild burnouts. Um, and toward, towards the end of this, this is getting towards the end of the battery here. We did, we did lose a little bit of power, but you can see this thing jumping around. This thing isn't, I'm dubbing this, this class of toy. I'm dubbing it. J drones, dubbing it. I'm coining it. Super plastic. <laughs> um, because they're 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 constructed of mainly plastic, but this thing worked really well. I I'm I'm happy with it. I, I came into it thinking, oh no, not another super plastic. But bam, little jump, bam, little jump. That's pretty good for a super plastic. All right, guys, last test with this. Again, I like it. It's a good entry level RC that has variable speed on the rear. Um, it's not four wheel drive. It's done well off road. We're gonna see if it can make it up the top. I'm just gonna be squeezing the trigger, not really controlling steering. So here we go. Come on, come on. It's trying. Might be uh might be end of juice line. And again, I'm really not steering. I can't do it. I can't do it. Maybe I've uh, been playing with it too long. Come on, you can do it, dude. You can do it. Alright, I'm going to try to steer, I guess. So we're going to try to steer away from that brush. I'm going to try, I'm trying to steer with one hand here. Nope. It don't got no juice left. Try to get some steam on it. Nah, the battery's just about done. And if you see here, this is what I was using to hold uh, my cell phone with. I just drew made two slits that slit and this slit thin slits drop my cell phone in that's how i was able to get those shots but uh all in all guys i'm liking it um i wish i would have tried this a little bit earlier when i still had some juice and uh on the battery let me try to uh yeah it's not even burning out anymore uh oh here comes the car we'll wait for the car to go <laughs> Bring it back. 
There we got we got a little head of steam. We'll do it. We'll do it. No. So I don't know. I can't weigh in on uh, up crawl ability, but from what we've seen, I would imagine that this thing probably would be able to do it on a fully charged battery. Obviously, we could do a lipo mode, and right now it's really having a hard time crawling. The battery's just about done, guys. Yeah, I'm full. I'm full pressed in, and that's as fast as it's going. So that's exactly what it is. A little jump. Oh no, a little crawl over. So we've burnt the battery. We've been out here a considerable amount of time. I like it. Is this a Traxxas killer? No. Is this a WL Toys killer? No. But is this a nice entry level uh, vehicle? I think so. Uh, that that leave, the, the leaves that I was playing in, that was leaves and mud, really thick leaves and mud. And for this to be able to go through it was pretty nice. Um, for this to be able to get a little bit of air on small stuff was pretty nice. Uh, again, this is not hobby grade by any means. Uh, those are not lights. It's just fancy paint that reflects really nice up there. Uh, we do also have a fake plastic tire, but uh, good entry level. Again, entry beginner's level. That's where this, I think, is geared at. And the biggest thing for me is it's done. It's done. <laughs> Battery's done. Is that you can, you, you're not just going into a click. You're actually... You have variable speed. But all right, guys, I'm Jay Drone. If you haven't subscribed, smash the subscribe button. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, put it down below. Get at me. Later.